Thank you for this. This is, this is amazing. Um, the first thing I want to say is, uh, the first thing is, none of this would be possible without uh, the guidance and support and uh, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. So I want to thank him for that because this wouldn't be possible without him and uh, the guidance that we've had moving forward. Everything happens for a reason. And uh, second of all, I think I'd probably be in the outhouse tonight, but I thank my wife, Lauren, for being my rock and supporting me. Uh, when I came into office four years ago as mayor, I was a bachelor. He had a bachelor mayor. And uh, well, I was technically engaged. I could have called it off. No. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> no way, no way. Um, but uh, <clears throat> I don't think we had a bachelor mayor since Cotton Byron, maybe? Maybe Mayor Harville. But uh, it, it, was, it was fun coming in, getting married as mayor. Um, as, uh, thank you, Mr. Jorgens, for your kind words. Uh, my, my time with the city uh, officially began in 2012 as, as a city councilman. And uh, I'll never forget my, my first council meeting. Uh, I'm sitting where Peggy Smith normally sits, and, and Guy Thompson comes up here and starts the meeting. And so I'm sitting down there, and Clayton White, the late Clayton White, goes, oh, here we go again. And he says, Wes? He says, you better get you a room in your house to store all this paper, because I don't know where you're going to stick it. Uh, he says, you're going to collect it over the years. And he was right. Uh, and he advised the new people coming in, you're going to collect lots and lots of paper. But uh, came in in 2000, uh, actually, Paul Kilmartin. Is Paul Kilmartin here? No, uh, Glenn Hill. Uh, Paul Kilmartin is responsible for me getting involved in the city to begin with. Uh, back about 2010, he came to me and asked me if I'd serve on the city cemetery committee. And I did, and so I got my feet wet there. And then uh, I ran for council in 2012 and, and won, and of course mayor in 2014. Uh, through uh, Councilman Lowry and Ms. Lunsford, they talked about the accomplishments. We made a lot of progress. Those who came before us, uh, we made a lot of progress. I use the word we. Our constitution begins with we. We've done a lot, and we're gonna do a lot in the future. It's very promising for us moving forward. Um, I want to thank the staff for being very professional. Uh, our city manager, um, Mr. Jorgensen, even Brian Watkins. Uh, all the staff here done a wonderful job. The council members, it's been a joy working with you, the ones who are out here or are no longer here. And Couple things to leave you, not to get too long winded tonight, but a little history lesson for you. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when when George Washington left office after his second term, he he put together a farewell address. And the two main points of his farewell address, uh, he advised the nation. He said to sum it up, number one, he warned the nation about the dangers of foreign political factions, political parties. He thought political parties would divide the nation. And he was right. As soon as he walked out of the room, you had the Federalists and the Republicans splitting the room. Didn't listen to him there. And second of all, he warned the nation about the problems that could come from getting intertwined in international affairs. So I can say we listened to the founding father there as well. But uh, with that said, I have a couple things. Number one, as I leave, I ask that this council and the oncoming council and mayor work as hard as they can to, to continue to preserve and protect our historic district. And that is, other than the people of the city of Milton, as I've said numerous times, the historic district is the crown jewel of downtown. That turn of the century brick and mortar architecture, along with that uh, beautiful river, as, uh, as Mr. Spencer just alluded to in his, in his prayer, um, that's a huge asset for the city of Milton. Please protect that, always. Trust me, it'll pay off. And number two, 
is, in my honest opinion, I couldn't have lost to a better candidate. You got a great mayor coming in that's going to be sitting here in a few minutes, and she's going to do a great job. Amen. And the one thing that I will tell you is the one thing this city needs more than anything is unity. We all need to work and strive to get on the same page. And I think we're working in that direction. I think a lot of credit goes to this council and our current city manager who's helped to make connections and build mountains over the past several months. Thank you, Randy, for that. But continue to press the idea of unity. Let's work together. We're one city, the city of Milton. And with that said, thank you so much. In the city, we're going to be close. God bless.